Suck it, Elon Musk. I got to a self-driving vehicle first. Well, sort of, kind of. This is Ollie. This is a self-driving shuttle that's being launched here in California at Sacramento State Campus. Now, I've seen this uh, prototype before at the CES, and really, it, it it's amazing that this is actually happening. So, first of all, it's a self-driving shuttle that's going to be shuttling students uh, throughout uh, the campus of this university, and they've already launched it at other different locations around the world. This is the first one in California. Uh, Secondly, it is electric, obviously, a 14 kilowatt hour battery that can go for about four or five hours worth of rides, which is kind of cool because really it's not your personal car. I mean, this is something that can go, you know, uh, go a charge and another one takes over and shuttles, you know, students, continues to shuttle students. So that's kind of not even an issue. Um, and thirdly, it is 3D printed car. There's just so many to unpack here. Uh, now, this event took place earlier today in uh, Sacramento. Um, the mayor was here. The congresswoman from this district was here. Uh, the president of the university was here. And of course, Jay, the CEO of uh, Local Motors, so the company that produces uh, this little baby here, was here. I, I had a conversation with him earlier and hear what he had to say. Now, there are quite a few technologies here that we're talking about, actually three, right? Electric vehicles, uh, self-driving vehicles, and 3D printed vehicles. Uh, which one are you excited the most, and uh, which one I think, uh, which one do you think is the biggest breakthrough in technology? You know, my biggest uh, thought on breakthrough here is the 3D printed nature of the vehicle. We call it direct digital manufacturing because what it is, is it is the capability that allows all those other things to upgrade. So if you're electric, you're electric because of your battery and your motors, and your, uh, your, your drive computers. And if you are self-driving, same kind of thing, adding sensors on it and other things like that. But those are changing so radically that, um, you know, just a couple years ago, we never thought about autonomous vehicles. And now we think about them all the time. So being a digital manufacturer means that you can upgrade the EV, you can upgrade the AV, and you can keep going. And who knows what's going to come next. Now, when we started this business, I was a Marine in Iraq, and I was deeply dissatisfied with the way we went to war. And the way in which we were going to war was in vehicles that were made for wars that were one or two generations behind. It's a very personal story for me. And I wanted to see change happen as fast as change happens in our electronic devices. Obviously, as far as 3D printing is concerned, this is this is great. This is where the whole thing hopefully is going. I mean, for those of you who drive uh, Tesla's like myself, you know how long you have to wait for parts, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, because they're not available. But if the parts can be 3D printed, um, you can either print it at home if it's a smaller part, or you can utilize any third-party 3D print house uh, to do it for you and replace that part much, much quicker. Um, I think this is where we're all going with not just the, the car technology. I think this is where we're going with a, a lot of other consumer uh, products. So this is definitely exciting. Um, of course, the fact that it's electric. I mean, I feel like this kind of a must. But the self-driving technology is also very, very interesting because um, these uh, these are um, this is kind of an experiment, right? Like if you're thinking about like Waymo or many other um, uh, ride-sharing services, uh, what they do is they map out uh, an area, right? Whether it's a neighborhood or a city or maybe even a state, and then they launch their programs there. And they the, the more they drive, the more test miles they log, the better they get at this, right? Now, this is different from what Tesla's doing, right? Tesla is a essentially creating a real artificial intelligence uh, uh, t technology where the car does not need to be relying on on the maps and, and uh, 3D maps and so forth. Now, there is obviously debate which one is better. Um, I, I think I think they can coexist, uh, but this is definitely something that what the majority um, of companies are going for, and this is an interesting experiment. Now, before I go any further, of course, I want to remind you guys that this uh, channel and this video is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Many of them are self driving level two, level three, whatever you want to call it. There's a discount code in the description of this video. Go ahead and grab it and save yourselves a few bucks. All right, so um, the, the technology is very exciting, but also there's a good reason why it's happening also in California. I feel like California here, we have a lot of things going on for us as far as green energy is concerned. Um, we are, you know, uh, we obviously Tesla and many other manufacturers, and that is where technology made uh, for the self-driving electric cars um, is created. Uh, we are also uh, a leader and, and one of the leaders in many ways in the world. And um, earlier I, ca I, caught up, I caught up with a congresswoman from a district um, who kind of told me more about what her vision is for California because he represents our state uh, as far as our country is concerned, as far as the entire world is concerned, and here is what she had to say. 
All right, so we're here in California, yet another technological and electric car event. What do, what, what do you think makes California one of the leaders in the world in, in, in this industry? I believe because we understand and we have a sense that our environment and our world is so important to us. We've always been far-reaching in that respect because we have the rivers, the waters, the sky and everything. We want to ensure that we have this for our children, our grandchildren. You know, it's you feel the momentum here. I rode on one of the Ollies and she is wonderful. <laughs> They've already uh, launched this in a few other countries, and they're collecting the data. Um, there are cameras that are inside and outside of this vehicle that help them you know, document of how the vehicle is doing. If there is an incident, which they haven't said that they haven't reported any major incidents, they can always review and improve the technology. So think of this as sort of um, a, a, a test miles that this vehicle is logging to get itself in a better shape, much like Tesla vehicles logging the autopilot uh, miles so the autopilot can improve. Uh, let me know in the comment section, would you ride in this one? I rode one one earlier today, it was kind of cool. Uh, would you trust the technology? Would you let your kids, if they're in college, ride in this uh, in these uh, self-driving vehicles? And also, what are the other uses uh, that you see for this that you think you will either pay for or can see some uh, really use to, to, to make all of our lives? Life's just better. Looking forward to those. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.